Hey there, smart home enthusiasts. Welcome to our comparison of two awesome products, the connectivity kit and the Tahoma switch. We know that choosing the right smart home product can be overwhelming, but don't worry, we are here to help you out. Today we will be diving deep into these two products to help you decide which one is the best fit for you. With these two devices, you can control your shutter blinds and garage doors with an app. The Tahoma switch is an older device, while now there is also the brand new connectivity kit. The connectivity kit is a small device that turns your phone into a remote control by installing the Tahoma app on it. After that connect it to your Wi-Fi network and pair the motors. From there you can control your shutters and doors from your phone. So, what are the differences? Firstly, the price, the connectivity kit is the more affordable option. The price difference often indicates that there will be some differences in what you're able to do with the products. Both products use the Tahoma app but you can think of the connectivity kit in a way that it transforms your phone into a remote while the Tahoma switch creates a smart home. You need to know that for programming you always need a remote control and can't program a motor with the connectivity kit alone. The big difference between the two is that the Tahoma switch can make things happen automatically. For example, you can make your shutters close at a specific time each night. Another difference is the motors you can control with both devices. The connectivity kit can control up to 20 devices while the switch is 200 plus. There is also a difference in scenarios, again 20 for the connectivity kit and 80 for the switch. There is no difference in what motors you can control with both devices, this includes RTS and IO motors. With the switch, you can control Z-Wave devices though. Control via Google Home, Alexa and Apple HomeKit can be also done with both devices. If you want to control more than just motors then the Tahoma switch is the only option as you can link sensors and cameras to it. The Tahoma switch comes with a USB cable and a power adapter while the connectivity kit comes only with a USB cable. In conclusion, we can say that these two devices are completely different if you look at how you can use them. The connectivity kit turns your phone into a remote control and I can see that being handy when you get home and want to run some scenarios quickly. The switch is a lot more expensive in comparison. On it, you can run scenarios automatically and you don't have to think about it. The ability of the Tahoma switch to link sensors is also a nice and convenient feature. Both of the devices are compatible with all of our products. So there you have it. We hope that this comparison has helped you in choosing the right product for your home. Thanks for tuning in, and happy smart homing!